Hey friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Do you remember the middle of March? The nation was asked to stay at home, to work from home, educate kids from home, shop online and, and well, live socially distanced from everybody. Across America and the fantastic state of Arizona, the stress level began to rise. People were concerned about how to do their jobs from home if they could, if they weren't laid off, how to teach their children and maintain a sense of sanity. Some began to fear the coronavirus would attack them, their families and the older family members with health issues. Stress with a capital S plagued our country. The news cycle offered no relief. Any channel we watched focused on the deadly coronavirus and its potential impact on us all. So where did Americans turn in times of stress? Well, some turned to God. I praise God for the number of people who have professed their faith in Christ through baptism here at Calvary since the COVID crisis hit. I think close to 90 people. But not everybody turned to a relationship with God. Where else did Americans turn? Well, many turned to the bottle. Did you know that at the end of March, alcohol sales increased a reported 243%. To handle their stress, many people turned to alcohol. Now, I'm not going to preach against drinking. Jesus himself consumed alcohol. Jesus drank alcohol and that communicates to me it's not a sin to drink alcohol. So I'm not going to condemn something or call something a sin that Jesus did. I can't do it. Drinking alcohol just simply isn't a sin. The disciples even drank wine at the Lord's Supper. But I think we can all agree that even though alcohol is not as drinking alcohol is not a sin, alcohol can be abused. Proverbs 23 has some wise advice on signs that point to knowing if you have an addiction to alcohol. Listen to what Solomon writes in Proverbs 23. Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? who has bloodshot eyes. It is the one who spends long hours in the taverns trying out new drinks. Don't gaze at the wine, seeing how red it is, how it sparkles in the cup, how smoothly it goes down. For in the end, it bites like a poisonous snake. It stings like a viper. You will see hallucinations and you will say crazy things. You will stagger like a sailor tossed at sea, clinging to a swaying mast. And you will say, they hit me, but I didn't feel it. I didn't even know it when they beat me up. When will I wake up so I can look for another drink? An addiction to alcohol can mess up your life. I know. My childhood was devastated by the impact of my dad who was an alcoholic. He stayed out late at the bars. He got into fights. One time he had to receive over 20 stitches in his head from getting whacked in a bar fight. I saw my dad get arrested for public drunkenness and disorderly conduct. I saw him rape my mom when he was drunk and much of the sexual abuse I experienced happened when he was drunk. So let me ask you, do you have an alcohol problem? Or are you addicted to alcohol? Has it changed your behavior? Is it impacting your family, your friends, and community in a negative way? I want you to know something. God has a better way for you to let go of the stress that you are experiencing. He is for you, and He wants to help you. Feel free to reach out to us today. We have pastors who would love to counsel you and pray for you. We have counselors at our church who would love to help you. And not only is God for you, but our pastors at Calvary are too. We want you to live free. And the only chains of addiction we want you to have are the chains to God's grace, mercy, and love. So examine your life. Ask yourself some difficult questions. Are you turning to alcohol as a stress reliever? Has it become an addiction to you? 
And if the answer is yes, reach out to us. We would love to pray for you. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless you. Have a great day.